Jones from Wolverhampton Music Service and in today's video we are going to play a few musical games together. Now hopefully you haven't been leaving your violins in the corner getting all lonely and dusty. If you have, here's a nice quick and easy video just to get your violins back out of the case, get to know each other's sounds again and to get you back ready on your journey of practising again. Let's make some music. Okay, first things first folks, we're going to just start to try and dust off any of those achy joints and those cobwebs which we might not have got we don't forget for a little while so let's do some of our stretching now if you remember this is a little bit of an adaptation of our grandma our grandma rap that often we did in our classes together so get ready i'm going to give you a line and then i'd like you to repeat that line whilst you follow my actions five six seven eight hands up shake 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 it shake your turn now, hands down, shake, 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 itty, shake, your turn. To the left, to the left, to the sus, sus side. Now, to the right, to the right, to the sus, sus side. Great. Okay, folks, so what we're going to need to do is just to make sure that our shoulders are really nice flexible and free to move around so what you can do then please is if you can if you're able to just pop your fingertips on your shoulders i'd like you to move your shoulders forwards all the way around feeling the nice movement through the shoulder joints and i'd like you to do that for a series of about four moves I can really feel my joints moving about there. We're going to go and move the shoulders backwards now. Let's go through another two more. Which makes four backward shoulder rotations. I'd like you to scrunch your shoulders up. Nice squeeze there. And relax those shoulders down. Another shake. Do the rubber chicken. If you remember our rubber chicken we did before and relax those arms. This is the next thing we're going to do with our arms. If you remember in our lessons, we talked about high, middle and low pitch sounds. Now, in our lessons, we also gave our high, middle pitch and low pitch sounds a few different names so we could try and identify them from one another. Do you remember what those sounds are? Let's recap. Now, along with these hand signs you can practice with me, it's a good chance for you to practice your signals. Right, are you ready? Whichever arm you want, get it ready. I'd like you to say, repeat after me. Greedy. Good. Make this shape for me and I'd like you to repeat after me. Dogs. Awesome. I'd like you to make this shape, repeat after me, always, excellent, and then finally I'd like you to make this shape, repeat after me, eat. Now I'm going to do that again, and as I mentioned chickens, this is where we get our chicken wings involved, now remember we want our elbow, our right elbow, to be like the tip of our chicken wing. And to get on to practicing moving our elbow to the correct height along with our shoulder, we're going to now say and make those same hand signs to get our arm into the correct position for playing on our greedy dogs always eat strings. We've done a little bit of the chicken wing movements. We're going to repeat our greedy dogs always eat moves, but what we're going to do now is just use the first letter of each of those words. The first letter of each of those words is going to be the name that we give to our low, middle and high pitch sounds on the violin. Let's practice this together. Are you ready? Get those chicken wings ready. Off we go again. 
greedy G dogs D always A eat E super now our right arm should be really really well warmed up now let's get that violin out of its case and we'll get it involved in our short warm-up so we can now carry on with our game okay wave hello to your violin <laughs> so moving our chicken wing arm warm up from greedy dogs always eat by making the same movements with that chicken wing arm of ours, we'll be able to make contact with our lowest, middle pitches and highest pitch strings to get those sounds. Let's try and play two bow strokes on each string, each time reminding us of what the pitch name is now. <laughs> It's a little bit of a game, a bit of a quiz. I'm going to play the sound. I'd like you then to echo my sound and I'd like you to say along with that the pitch name of the string. Let's go. playing two bow strokes on each of those strings so that you can familiarise yourself with what each string sounds like again and then come back to me. Right yeah. so hopefully you've remembered all of your string sounds and if you've got some keen eared audience members at home as well they'll now be familiar with each of those pitch sounds as well. So we've done a few activities, we've done our warm up stretches We've done a little bit of our chicken wing arm exercises and we've been doing a little recap on what the pitch names are of each of those strings. Let's do one final game in this video. This video game is going to be one based on some spellings. So what we're going to do is take the first letter of greedy, dogs, always, eat, which is G. D, A, E, and we're going to try and see if we can spell out some familiar words, but this time using our violins to make the sounds instead of letter names. Do you want to give that a try? Okay. See if you can guess the word that I'm spelling out to you with my violin. Did you guess it? The word I spelt for you then was A G E, which spells age. Let's try another one. Did you guess it? The word that I spelt out for you there was D A D Dad. Let's see if you can guess this one. Did you indeed? Guess that one? The word I spelt for you then was D E E D. Deed. 
I hope you've enjoyed a bit of a fun way to get reunited with your violin again. Remember, you don't just have to stick to those words which I've created. Maybe you can get your folks involved where you are and you can try and create some alien words as well, just to see if we can keep our ears listening to the sounds of our violin and also keep a weather eye on our spellings too. If you like the video, please do subscribe, press on the bell icon and you can be updated with more of the music service videos as we get them to you. And remember, enjoy your playing. Mm -hmm.